I want to put the autism issue to rest. So I brought in an expert. Her name is Elizabeth Logerson. She's an autism expert and assistant clinical professor here at UCLA. Dr. Logerson, please tell us what you think about this issue as, as it pertains to Asperger's in this case. You know, as you've discussed, Dr. Drew, um, Asperger's, which is a high-functioning form of autism, it's, it's a diagnosis that's characterized by difficulty with social communication and developing and maintaining meaningful relationships with people, but it's not characterized by aggressive behavior. Now, that's not to say that people with Asperger's don't engage in violent behavior. It's just not part of the diagnosis. And, and mm -hmm. you, you mentioned, I read somewhere where you said that they can get, there's a bullying component. You have, you have two different ways that you can look at their social interaction. Right, Describe that right. to us. Well, without knowing the complete background of this young man's mental history, if you listen to his YouTube videos or you read his manifesto, you get the strong sense that this is a person who feels extremely rejected by women and by his peers. But what's interesting is that when you hear firsthand accounts from people who actually knew him and interacted with him, they describe a person who didn't speak unless spoken to, who was seen as quiet and withdrawn. He didn't appear interested in the people around him. Now, he was certainly isolated. He was socially isolated, but he seems to have chosen to isolate himself. Yet at the same time, he was very angry about this isolation and seemed to feel as though it was forced upon him. Mm -hmm. When in reality, he, he actually may have been uh, forcing this upon himself. This might have been of his own making. Absolutely. So I believe uh, that's, that's the point. He, that's his blind spot, that it was about him, not about other people. Right. Now, do you feel that that could have been treated? I do believe that could Me be too. treated. Wow. I Me believe too. that. I, but I yeah. think that he had to be willing to well, receive that Well, or treatment. he had to be leveraged into it. I'm going to let you go, Dr. Logerson. Hopefully we'll have you back to discuss this because uh, I want to get into that issue with my panel. Judy, what about the people around him leveraging? He was given medication. He was sent to therapy. didn't do it. Right. Why not using, take the BMW away, take the sunglasses away, take the apartment away. Tons of leverage for this kid. None of it used. Absolutely. And this is a situation where he has actually managed to manipulate his family and hold them at a standstill. I see this all the time in my practice, Dr. Drew, where parents are afraid to put the consequences are because they're afraid of the meltdowns, afraid no. that the ah. child's yeah. going to go ah. to pieces. Yeah. Or, and it's not true. Or, if you afraid, put the yes. or afraid of affecting the relationship with the child, yes. which is the right. most ridiculous thing. That's of not course. being a parent. Evie, what do you say? I, I tend to agree with a lot of it. I, I agree with the fact that it, he was looking externally at everything around him as being the problem. He never once looked internally at himself. When you hear this manifesto, mm -hmm. when you hear his YouTube videos, he talks about how everybody else is at fault, but never once does he look internally. Well, I do think right. that well, some that of the owners should be put... Hang go, on. Go ahead. I do think some of the owners should be put a little bit on the parents because, I, mm -hmm. I again, we don't know all of it, but they should have had a much more active role in his you know, in what of was course. going on with him. The other thing that I noticed is, and again, to just be careful with this one, but I want to make note that he grew up in this environment with Hollywood fame. His, his father mm -hmm. was in an mm -hmm. industry where all these external things, money, cars, women, everything made you popular, and that's what he needed. So I also tend to wonder what kind of values were instilled mm -hmm. in him to think that these were the things he needed to have. 